Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to show you guys how I went from long hair to short hair with the snip of scissors. And this is a weave, BTW. So um, my weave was getting just kind of like old a little bit. So I'm just showing you guys how I went from a very long weave to now a very even... Besides the front of my hair, don't judge me. I'm going to add some hair in the front at a later date, probably tomorrow. But it's too late for me to do it now. So, I want to show you guys how I got this look. If you want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. So, we're going to cut our hair about up to here. I'm trying to see where my real hair. My real hair in the back. So, basically, I'm just going to go around the perimeter of my hair. And take out my natural hair. Pin my natural hair up in the back. So I'm just pinning my hair up in the back with the hair, regular hair pin. Like that. And then we're gonna let this back down. And I'm going to do the same thing to the front of my hair. Take all of my natural hair out. Okay, and once I do that, I'm just going to pin this the same way I did the back to the front. And then I'm going to take the fake hair, bring it up to the front, both sides. And I'm going to take two scrunchies and put that into two ponytails on both sides of my head. And basically what I'm going to do is pull them both down to the length I want to cut this hair. And my real hair we set was down here. So I think I'm going to go maybe this long. And I'm going to go about that long. Make sure they're even. This is the secret. Use a scrunchie so that your hair stays in one place. Make sure they are even as possible. And then we're going to take the scissors. Snip, snip. Okay, so we're going to make sure our hair is even. And then we're going to take our scissors and cut below the scrunchie, up against the scrunchie. So when you cut, you want to pull, create tension in your hair, whether this is real hair or fake hair. Create tension and cut. And we're going to do the same exact thing to this side. Okay, that's step number one. Okay, so now we got rid of all this excess hair that we're going to get rid of and toss in the trash. Now we can remove our scrunchies. So now once you remove your scrunchie, you should have a blunt cut. If you want to cut it more even, you can do that now freehandly, but that's not what I'm going to do because I don't know how to cut freehand. So, um, I'm going to just keep this as it is and create a nice wave to it. Um, as you can see, like now it's like a fresh end. It's not as frayed as the ends that I had. So, this is going to create more of like a healthier look to my hair. It already looks healthier. Or, I mean, I guess it's not real. So, it looks neater or more you know voluminous I guess so then we're gonna let this down and I'm gonna wash my hair off camera because my hair really needs to be washed but just to get an idea of what it's gonna look like this is kind of what we were going for so 
So this is kind of what she's going to look like when she's done. Okay, so once we get everything flat iron and straight, and I didn't want to, you know, well, not that I didn't want to, but I didn't have to straighten it as straight because I'm going to curl it, and I don't want to um, kind of permanently press my hair down. I know it sounds weird, but if I flat iron it to, like, its flattest point, it's going to be harder for me to curl in the second in the video. I would have to kind of let it cool down for a while. And I'm honestly ready to go to bed, so we're going to get through this. And I'm going to start in the back. And the little, the way I have my hair pinned over the, in the back, I'm going to leave it that way. I'm not taking that down because if I take it down, it's going to be longer than this hair. And that's not what I want. So, I'm going to go ahead. And with this hair, I'm just going to curl it and leave fish hooks on the end, basically. I'm literally just putting a bend in the middle of my hair. Um, I'm going to use Hicks on my edges, which I don't want to use because I don't love this. Not that I don't love this. It's like edge control in general. Um, works the opposite with my hair and it makes my hair wave up a little bit. And it makes the natural texture of my hair come out. And I prefer to use like a, a setting mousse to lay my edges down and wrap it. But I don't have any right now, so I'm going to stick to the Hicks. And this is just going to get gooey all over again. I'm going to have to wash it by next week, but whatever. Um, and I'm going to use a toothbrush. Everybody knows the edges and toothbrush trick. So I don't have to go into detail with that. I hope not. So we're just going to take that. And go on. And I'm not going to go that deep into my edges because I don't want them to get gooey. I hate when they get really gooey. I think I'm just going to go this far and that's it. And then once I do that, I'm going to let our hair down. And if I had hairspray, I would kind of tame those stray hairs that you see sticking up. And I would tease it and kind of like spray it out a little bit. And that's that. And we're all done.